Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Sec. In my previous video regarding Cloudflare Zero Trust VPN, I already showed you how to use Cloudflare Tunnel to access your home application, including RDP access with your own domain. Actually, we can do more, such as exposing other cloud platforms, private application to public with your own domain. So in this video, I'm gonna use Code Sandbox as an example to show you how we can use Cloudflare the list Docker to map your own domain to your private application you hosted in Code Sandbox. Now let's start it. Code Sandbox, this platform is an online cloud development platform which gives you an instant cloud development environment to play with it for your project. You can always start it from free plan in which you will get almost 40 hours VM credit per month. And uh, you can spin up like a VM which has four watch CPU, eight gig RAM, you can have at most five private sandboxes. It might sound like not that much, but considering there's no requirement for you to get an account, only thing you need is an email address or GitHub account. In that way, this is actually a very helpful platform for you to start your lab. Unfortunately, it doesn't give you ability to use your custom domain. For that use case, we are able to use Cloud3D, the Docker, to run with your application together to map your own domain to the application in the code sandbox. So that's what we're gonna do in this lab. To achieve what we are trying to do in this lab, we do need a couple of things. We need account from Code Sandbox. You can sign in and sign in with your GitHub account. That shouldn't be hard to get it. You also need a Cloudflare account. It's best that you have your own domain. So if you don't have those, just look at my video here to get a free domain from eu.org and then integrate with Cloudflare and you can watch my other videos to how to use Cloudflare Docker to access your home environment. That will give you a basic idea what we will need to achieve. But for code sandbox environment, we're gonna add our application and then add Cloudflare Docker to map our domain to that application. I do have quite a few examples to show you how to do that. For example, this is the steps how you can create your Cloudflare Docker with an app layer. So that's step by step. We're gonna follow that and then we're gonna launch an application. You can choose quite a few applications from the end. For this, I'm gonna use a monitoring app as an example. Uptime Kuma. I'm gonna use in that as our Docker application we deployed in Code Sandbox and I use Cloudflare D to map our domain to it. The first thing, we're gonna create our application. Create our own sandbox. We choose Docker. We gave a name. Since we choose the Docker, the only long time we can choose is dev box. We cannot use in sandbox, but that's fine for us. You can choose micro VM or you can choose nano VM. Nano VM is more than enough for us to use. So create dev box. In probably five seconds, your environment is ready. To get your Docker applications running well in Code Sandbox, there are a couple of steps we need to follow to do that. The first thing, we need to go to 
workspace dot code sandbox folder. There's a tasks dot json file. We need to change that because that is a template. We don't need those. We can get the code from my website here. You can just copy the whole thing. Just copy whole thing here. Just copy whole thing here. Basically, it's telling the system to deploy and to run those two commands. They create a task, running those two commands, go to this folder, and the Docker Compose app. Just bring the Docker app. So we need to have a Docker Compose .yml file to create it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a file. You can use this as an example as well, but uh, I'm going to use a different one. I'm going to use in uptime kuma as our example. I already have the code here. We're going to create a file. We call it um, docker-compose.yml file. And then paste everything we have. Unfortunately, we have to change the token. There's one more thing to change to link this Cloudflare D Docker to your account, you have to change the token. From this EY to the end, we need to delete that. We need to find our own token for it. So basically, in the code, we have two Docker will be created. One is Cloudflare D Docker. Another one is our Uptime Kuma Docker, which is our application. Uptime Kuma running on 5700. So we need to remember that we are mapping to 5700 here. You can change it to anything you want. We can change, keep it using 3001 as well to make it consistently with your internal port. So now we need to find a token. How can we get token? We need to go to our Cloudflare Zero Trust menu. And then we go to network. We can create a tunnel. Let's add a tunnel. Cloudflare D. We name our tunnel. We know this tunnel is going to code sandbox. Let's do one. Same. It will give us some um, different options to install and run a connector. Of course, Docker is one of the way. So there's something we need to find out is a token. So there's token here. We are copied this token. You can put at the end of here. So basically, that's your token. We can move this to EY. It start from EY until the end. That's your token. Once you got that, you paste in here. That will make sure the tunnel you created in code sandbox will link to your Cloudflare account. That's all. Control S to save. Once you did the save, it will asking you that dev container configuration has changed. Do you want to rebuild and restart the dev containers? We do yes here. They're stopping all running containers and then restart it. It's installing dev container right now based on the tasks we defined in the first step. And then they were starting to recreating that container. You might get this error message. To troubleshooting on it, sometimes you need a terminal. So here, I'm going to show you how to use terminal. You see the tasks. The tasks we defined were send running. Let's go back. I 
believe we missed one break it so now let's try to redeploy it again so what we can do is go code sandbox run setup tasks now you can see the steps they are pulling those dockers perfect you should be able to see port 3001 has been opened you also get a link so you can verify that so you can open it let's open that's uptime kuma the application which we defined in our code docker compose dot yml file but it is using the built-in domain provided by code sandbox we're gonna use in our own domain how we can do that we got our application up in a code sandbox platform but how we're gonna use our own domain for it so now we're gonna use in our cloudflare dashboard zero trust dashboard to configure for it so we have our tunnel created and we're gonna add it so we're gonna save the tunnel first we didn't add any public host name yet for code sandbox one we should be able to do that for example we use our uptime puma this subdomain to connect into our local service http we're gonna connect into our HTTP 3001 localhost 3001 port. So let the 3001 we defined in our Docker Compose file. Now save the tunnel. Now you can see our tunnel status is healthy. It's connected four minutes ago. So where is coming from? It's coming from this configuration. You may also want to check your terminal information here you can create a new terminal and run some command which you should be able to see uptime kuma docker and all your cloud flare d docker so both are running well right now here that's why we got this healthy status at the same time we already created our public host name. If you didn't create it before, you can create from here, add a new public host name. If you have multiple applications you want to expose to internet with your own domain, you can do the same thing, add another public domain here. So now let's give it a try, uptime kuma. We are using our own domain to access the applications running in this private cloud cloud sandbox environment. And then we successfully exposed to the internet. We can go through all steps to configure this uptime Kuma site monitoring application. We logged in. Again, I have lots of applications I posted in here you can use such as at least Hello, Microsoft 365 E5, Renew X, Pandora Dash, Next, Uptime Kuma, we talked about it, Codebox, Pen Index. So there's one thing I want to mention is you can run in multiple Docker here, not only one Uptime Kuma, one Cloud 3D, you can grab for example, you can grab this one, pan index, just copy the code, and you can put in here. So then you will have three different docs running, and then you can create another public host name to point into 5238, and then you can have pan index web applications to be accessed 
publicly using your own domain as well. So that's how easy you can expose any cloud private applications to internet with your domain. I'm hoping this video brings some useful information to give you an idea how to expose your own private project to internet with the help from Cloudflare D or some other free cloud platforms. If you think this video is having useful information, just give me a thumb up. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please do. That will give me great support. By the way, my subscribe has been reached 20k today. So thank you everyone. Thank you for your support. See you in my next video. Thank you.